Hey, everybody, welcome. It's the coach with you here today for another edition of Madden Ultimate Team. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see. How He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. On first down, it's Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. Here's Vic. And he's got his tight end, Gesicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Dolphins are going to take a first-quarter lead. Now Brian Flores is going to leave the offense out there to go for two. They'll look to run for it with Williams. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And so they run it in on the two-point try. You know, so often, Charles, we talk about, from the offense's perspective, what you do on the two-point conversion. How about the defense? How do they play run versus pass? It's really difficult for them because I think most teams want to play for the pass. That's what they see most teams do. And so are you able to mass enough people inside if the team decides to run it? Very difficult. I think what you're seeing a lot more now, people blitzing the two-point conversion. They want you to make a quick decision and make it right now. There, the offense wins the battle for two. Now a throw here going to be taken in by the tight end to Joku. Three yards the gain there, second down. Now Mayfield. No, oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. To throw Mayfield. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Mayfield now. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Seven yards to pick up there. They go play action, Mayfield. He'll take a shot here for Hooper downfield. And that's gonna be too high, out of bounds and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Third and short yardage, Mayfield. And that is incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On the ground, this is Williams. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. On third down, here's Williams. And he'll have the first down as he's up to about the 18. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. They'll run on first down. It's Williams, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And that'll just about do it for us in this one. You've notched another win, and the next challenge awaits. Hello, and welcome into this Madden Ultimate Team Showdown. I'm your host, The Coach. Taking you the rest of the way, here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Brandon. We start this challenge off in the fourth quarter with four minutes left on the clock. You're only down by a point. You're backed up near your own goal line as we get set here first and 10. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They'll throw again. Here's Vic. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Vick's throw here, taken in by Gesicki. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. Well, there you have it, another challenge and another victory. Now remember, you can always replay challenges if you left any stars on the...